Hey CMG, um, okay I'm going to show you what to do once you're in the editing screen here. Okay, to set up your Phantom X to work properly with this, go to Setup, Set Up Media Devices, and then it will show up this screen. Then show your input, output, the Phantom X, device ID is 17, and the through is input, output, is all Phantom X. So, so make sure you select Phantom X for all of these options and the dev device ID should be 17. Once there, hit OK. Um, okay, now to get to your patches, you can click the little folder or you can go to File. Um, click Open, then select the patches from wherever they're at. I put them on my desktop. Double click, and there is all your patches. Um, category, all the pianos in one place and everything. So we'll scroll down till we get to the synth sounds. Okay, here we go. And once you see one you like, um, with all these sounds, you just double click. <laughs> and it should play a preview. And if you want to stop, if you want to stop the preview, just click stop. And then, so basically, once you have it selected, don't do anything to it, and then you can just play it if you want. Exit, exit, okay, so once you see that, it'll automatically show up on the keyboard. Um, what you want to do, you want to hit right, um, patch rhythm, enter. Then I want to hit right again. This is if you want to save the patch if you like it. Um, I like to save them onto my card, but your user. Um, that way I can take them with me on the card. Anyway, you can save any one of your user patches. You can save over any one of these because you still got your patches that are already on your keyboard that are always going to be there. So you can save over any one of these. So then all you do after that, um, you hit right, F8, patch right completed. Now you have this saved. If you like that sound, so. That's all there is to it. And then you just repeat that process. So if you see any more patches you like, you just double click on them and you can stop the preview and then play them yourself if you want and then you just save them. So that's basically it. Um, I hope this helps. If you got any more questions, um, just send me a message, and I'd be glad to help. Thanks a lot.